Good morning, class. Today we are working on Unit 4, Lesson 4, Remembering. Today we are reviewing adding and subtracting numbers and decimals. We are reviewing multiplying fractions and fractions by whole numbers. You are also looking at place value sections and reviewing that. Multiplying two-digit by two-digit numbers. And you can go ahead and put an X through stretch your thinking. We'll go ahead and look at numbers one through three. The directions say copy each exercise, then subtract. And what they're telling you to do is to line them up. And so number one, I'll go ahead and show you 9,000. And you are subtracting from that 865. So we're going to have to borrow from the nine and it's going to become an eight. And this 10 is going to become a nine. This 10 will become a nine. And this one will go ahead and stay at 10. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5, 9 minus 6 is equal to 3, 9 minus 8 is equal to 1, and 8 minus nothing is equal to 8. So your answer is 8,135. And you need to write that out just like I wrote it here. Just write it here below. Now we're going to look at numbers 4 through 9. It says multiply. You do not need to simplify. Remember, it's important to read those directions. So in this case, you do not need to simplify. So you're done once you've just completed your multiplication. Number 4 is 5 sevenths times 1 third. And in multiplication, we just multiply straight across. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. So you have 5 over 21. We'll go ahead and complete one more of those. Let's look at number seven. Number seven, we have two thirds and we're multiplying that by five. Remember, anytime we have a whole number, we wanna write it as a fraction, we just write it over one. And again, multiply straight across. Two times five is equal to 10. Three times one is equal to three. You get to leave this as, a, as an improper fraction, 10 over three. It says in the directions, no need to simplify. And number 10, you are solving the first problem with place value sections. Remember, it's just a simple rectangle, which is 54 times 42. But you're doing place value sections. So remember to complete each box. Okay, so all four boxes you need to find the area of. And then you need to add those together. And remember, we practiced that in uh, lesson 4-3. So you saw that... Um, on 4-3 homework. If you need a review of that, go back and review because I do want you to be able to complete that one on your own. And again, you're finding the area for this box here, the first box here, you're finding the area for the second box here, the third box here, and the fourth box here. And then adding each of those together. Numbers 11 through 13 are just more review of multiplication. We're going to be practicing these over and over again so you get them down. We'll go ahead and complete number 11 together. 15 times 42. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Put down your 0, carry your 1. 2 times 1 is equal to 2, plus 1 is equal to 3. Put down your placeholder. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Put down your 0, carry your 2. 4 times 1 is equal to 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. And now you add 0 plus nothing is 0, 3 plus 0 is 3, and 6 plus nothing is 6. So your answer is 630. 630. All right, kiddos, you can go ahead and complete this page on your own. Make sure for number 10 you show me each equation, the equation that belongs in each one of those four boxes, so I can see how you found the area of each of those boxes, and then you add them all together to get the area of the entire rectangle or square. Um, thank you, and make sure you take a picture of your work, upload it into Teams, and turn it in. Thanks.